Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for heading over and joining me here on my channel, Septera 18. I made these uh, file tab planner pockets and I made these using only one piece of 6x6 paper and they are really easy and I'm going to show you how you could easily make these as well if you would like to make some of these uh, planner uh, pockets with the file tabs and I made them with uh, three different uh, tabs, one on the right side. I also made the pocket with the tab uh, in the middle and one on the left side so you can uh, decide whether you want your file tab in the middle left or right or all three different sides like I have and I think these look really nice stacked together this way and then you can label each um, pocket with what's inside and I thought these would be perfect to fit in your smaller planner size if you have uh, a planner with a binder ring uh, all ready for you for next year so this is one of my other pockets I made um, as well and all you do is you will just align the part where it's folded um, along where you would like to place your pocket um, along the binder rings and then you just mark uh, the pocket and punch a hole and then you'll have this ready inside and then you've got somewhere to store your sticker sheets in here, um, washi sample, some little notes or whatever you like and then you've got your little tab here to um, label what's inside the pocket and I think this was also a, a pretty way to uh, decorate your planner pages and you can make a few of these. If you have a tour by tour paper you can make four of these uh, planner pockets so I think that's um, a fun idea. And then I also made, well, this one here, I just I did some simple decorating and added a tassel. But I also uh, made an ephemera folder with a 6x6 six six paper as well to place inside the pocket. So it opens up this way and then you can store uh, your ephemeras, uh, your stickers or your uh, postage stamps, word sentiments. And then you just... Um, Place them inside these clear seal bags with the opening at the bottom so you could uh, unseal it and take out what you need and reseal it and then it's, the rest stays inside the folder. And then there is a spot here for another uh, place to add some more of your ephemera pieces. And then on this side also has two spots as well. But you could add another uh, spot here as well if you want add another a seal bag but um, it will only this size here will only fit uh, the seal bags with the width of less than three inches so anything wider won't fit but any of your seal bags that are three inches or less will fit in here so you can fit four of these packaged um, items in here it's also a great little happy mail idea for you too if you want to gift something like this in a happy mail and then you can just place it in the file tab pocket and then you can gift one of these so um, that's just another way to uh, make these pockets and then you can have these all stacked up like this if you want to have more folders and then you can label each tab um, with say so this one here has a lot of all my flowers you can just put flowers and the next folder could be uh, word sentiments uh, the next one could be uh, small embellishments and then you can have them all in a file sys filing system and then it's ready and just place them in a little box. So that's uh, just another idea for you. I also put a little pack or a little kit together that will be in my store if you want to uh, purchase the ones that I've made. And I'll just show you the ones that I've made for the, for the shop. Uh, so you'll get a random three different printed uh, file tabs and there will be one of each. One on the left, one in the middle and one on the right. You'll also get the uh, ephemera folder, which I'll show you how to assemble one of these as well. And then you will assemble it yourself. And then it will also come with the extra little tabs so you could adhere the other packaged items as well. So it comes with that and there will be four clear seal bags so you could store your embellishments or ephemeras inside. So you'll get the folder, 
the two tabs are four seal bags, three random uh, file tab pockets. You'll also get these little strips inside the pack as well. And this will be the little bonus uh, project that I'm going to show you with what you can do with these cute little, uh, with these little strips. And these strips are the end parts of these pockets here. So I didn't want to waste them. So I thought I'll try and make something with it and I'll show you what I made. And you might want to do that as well for the little strips. And these are the little bonus projects that I'm going to show you. It's these cute little mini our paper gift bows. I did make these a while back with the larger size um, gift bow with the larger strips of papers and I'll put the link down below for you if you want to have a look at that video but you can make these cute little uh, paper gift bows with these strips and that's a little bonus uh, tutorial that I'll show you as well after the uh, file pockets and I just think they're just so cute and you can add these and stick them onto a tag or stick them onto the a file folder if you wanted to a file pocket file tab pocket or onto the front of your uh, ephemera folder i just think these are just so cute i don't like wasting papers i try to see what i could make without throwing any of the little pieces away so that's the little uh, kit that will come in in my shop and let me go ahead now and I'll show you how to make these. So I'm going to show you how to make the three different uh, file pockets with the three different uh, tabs on the left, middle and the right. And then I'll also do the tutorial and show you how to make the file folder and as well as these cute little mini uh, paper bows. So we'll start with the file uh, tab planner pockets first. So you'll need uh, your 6x6 six six paper. So I've got three here because I'm going to show you the three different tabs on how to cut the tabs out. And this one will be for the ephemera folder. So I've got four here, 6x6 six six papers. So I'll grab the first one, the first piece, and you get your scoreboard. And we're going to line it on the six inch side and we're going to make a score line at half an inch and also half an inch on the other side. So they're going to both go in half an inch and then we're going to turn it around on the other side and we're going to score at two and a half inches. So we've got that done. You're going to grab your trimmer. If you don't have a paper trimmer, you can use your scissors. So we're going to do the uh, right tab first. So what we're going to do here, you're going to decide how wide you want your tab to be. And you're going to determine that from this score line because we are going to remove this piece. So you want to determine the width of or the length of your file tab from this score line up to however far you want it. And then you're going to then trim that down and stop at wherever the width of your file tab is going to be. So if you don't have a trimmer, you're just going to cut with your scissors. But I'm going to use uh, the trimmer. So along this side you want to go in about one centimeter or three eighths of an inch in and that's where you make your cut so in this case i'm going to line the edge of my paper on the one centimeter mark or the three eighths of an inch so i'm just going to line that like that and then i'm going to cut up oh sorry i'm going to cut down and if you're going to use your scissors you're going to cut down and you're going to stop at however wide you want your tab but in my case i'm going to stop mine at the number nine so it's about i say it's about one and a half one and a half inches in from that score line but you just make it however wide you like it so that is where i've made my cut so that's going to be the width of my tab And then I'm just going to turn it around this way. I'm going to cut up where I've 
finished off the cut and then I'm going to remove these two pieces out and I'm just going to angle cut it like that and I'm just going to go back around this way I'm going to remove this side and do the same and then angle cut that part as well So that is now how it looks. I'm going to turn it back this way because I want to now angle cut this side. So it kind of looks like a tab now because this part will then get folded up. And if you have a corner rounder punch, you can corner round your right side just to give it a nice finish as well as this side. And if you don't have one, you can just leave it. And now I'm going to angle cut this side and this side. All right, so I've got that all cut up. I'm going to fold these tabs in. And fold that up. And now we can glue the side tabs and your planner pocket with the file tab is all done. So this one is with the tab on the right. And now I'll show you how to do the tab in the middle. I'm just going to seal that off now. So that's all done and you've got a nice large opening so you can put a few things inside. And then you've got these little strips here. You've got your two strips. Um, just keep them to the sides. These are the ones that we're going to use to create these cute little mini uh, paper gift bows. So I'll put that with this one for now. Let me grab the next 6x6 six six paper and we'll do the middle uh, tab. <clears throat> so the score lines will be exactly the same. We're going to go in at half an inch on both sides. Turn it around and score at two and a half inches. And just uh, also, if you're using directional paper, just have a look at uh, where your paper's going. So um, you don't want your image to be upside down or your print. So just have a look at your um, print before you do the two and a half inch score line. Go back and I'm just going to grab my cutter again going exactly the same going in at about three eighths of an inch or one centimeter and we are going to you're going to uh, cut down and cut up and you're going to again decide how wide you want your file tab to be from that score line to this score line so your center will be somewhere here and then you can work out your center so I'm going to line that up there and I'm going to cut my paper up to the number 10, which is about an inch in, I think, and then going down to the number 5. So it's about an inch in from the score line. I'm just going to go up one there, and I'm going to go down to the number 5. And you're going to see that's cut like that now. I'm just going to do exactly the same. We are going to cut up along that part and this side. I'm just going to angle cut this little piece roughly, hopefully look as even as I can. And then I'm going to remove these two pieces out. So angle cut these two pieces. So that is how it looks. And I'll corner around these corners. So that part's done. And do the same thing. Fold these sides. Oops. 
So now I've got the middle tab done. So that's the middle one done and that's the right side and again I'll keep the little strips to the side so I'm not wasting them. So that's one done. Now we're going to make the one on the left side. So I would do the same thing and make the same score lines. Go half an inch. And then two and a half inches. And then I'm just going to cut, um, I'm going to cut up this time and I'm going to stop at the number six. So it'll be the same as the right. You're just going to go the opposite measurement. So now I've done that. And then we'll just do exactly what we've done with the other two and just cut up. And we'll cut this piece. Remove these two sides. So that completes my three um, file tab planner pockets. These are really fun to make and I think these also make a great little gift. You can make these as little gifts and then wrap them with some twine. So these are the three, uh, three file tab pockets for your planners all done. And then I've got the little strips and I'll put them to the side as well. So what we'll do now, let's make the ephemera folder. If you wanted to make one of those to add inside the pocket. So you'll grab your next 6x6 paper. Just clear all this up. And we are going to just... Oh, we need to make a cut first, sorry. So we've got to make a cut first. Oh, I couldn't remember it. We just... So we are going to cut your six by six paper at the five and a quarter inch. So you want to line it five and a quarter inches. And we are going to cut that piece out. And then this little piece here, we're going to cut that at three inches. So you get two pieces like that. And we're going to go along the six inch side and we'll score it at three inches. And then we're going to turn it around at the five and a quarter inch side and we're going to score at three quarter of an inch. So that is now how it looks. And then these two pieces, we're going to score it at a quarter of an inch on both of the pieces. So just do that. So now you have them scored. And grab your scissors and I'm going to turn around this way. We're going to remove this little middle piece, but I'm going to Go out a little bit from that score line and also just about the same here, about that much. We'll fold these over and then we are going to remove that little piece out. 
it will just make it easy to fold your folder. So now we have these now on the top. And then we've got these two little pieces. I'm going to line them together. And I'm going to, I'm just going to go this way. We're going to trim a little bit of that out because it's going to be a little too long. So I'm just going to try and line it up with this one. So we've got about the same length. We'll fold these over and get it ready. And these are the seal bags. I've only just put paper inside just so you could see how it looks like. And then I've sealed the bottom of all three. I'm just going to seal this one. So you want to make sure the opening is at the bottom. And you're going to have two on that side and two on this side. You're going to grab some double-sided tape. This is a um, quarter of an inch size. And I'm going to line it and place it along the edge up here. So, yeah, just somewhere in the middle, or just anywhere there. And then I'll do the same to the other side. And then you grab your packaging and making sure the closure is at the back. You're just going to line it along, making sure it stays inside the folder and just bring that down. And that will hold that in place now. And then we'll grab the other piece and do the same. Lining it up about there, bring that down. So now you've got the two already place inside the folder. I'm going to lift that up for now. We're going to glue down the little piece. We can use double sided tape, it's fine. I'm going to bring this down. I'm going to try and just line the edge with that and making sure that stays along the edge inside the folder. So that's stays in there and I'll do the same with the other side just line it up with this one on, on the edge there you don't want it close to the uh, fold line otherwise you'll catch and it won't close and then we're going to lift them up add the same do the same and add some double sided tape to the Flap there, this side, and then I'm just going to place that there, seal that off. They're all inside, flips up and down. I can now just close that up. And that's it. You can also add some string in the middle and then bring it out so that you can tie it. Add a belly band or add um, a couple of holes and then you can use this to tie it to keep it closed. But this is a little ephemera folder. How cute is this? Everything stays inside. You can have these in your planner folders or planner pockets and they're all stored nicely together so that is how to make those so now let's make the little mini paper um, gift bows how cute it's that way so so cute all right so let's grab we'll grab the two I think those two go together. 
get it to the same and we've got this one all right let's do we'll make these ones so what we're going to do you made uh, that little angle cut there from the side pocket so I'm going to remove with that score line there's a little score line there I'm just going to remove that and just try and get these to be the same size all right so they're the two that was from this pocket that were from the side I'm just going to cut it in half it doesn't have to be exactly in half just as best you can because you're not really going to tell once it's all layered together so they're the four pieces now this could be a little tedious for some but have a go and see if you can um, make one of these I've got some glue dots here by glue dots you can use a hot glue gun you can use your good strong glue so I'm just going to grab one piece. I'm going to glue, add a bit of a glue dot to one end. And then I'm going to just bring it around to create like a little circle or like that. So do that to all four. There's another one have two more to do these glue dots are fantastic they glue anything down especially paper really well and keeps gives it a neat finish it's not messy and they come in different sizes so they're the four and then I'm going to just use my normal glue for this one just to make it quick I'm going to dab a bit of glue in the middle, somewhere inside, press it down, just like that, and then the same to the other three. I could have used my glue gun, but I didn't want to wait for it to heat up. My join, come on, my join. Okay, so once all four of those are all sort of pressed in in the middle, just making sure the joints at the bottom, you're going to then add a bit more glue again to the top middle. Grab one of the pieces and go across like a plus sign. Put another glue in the middle on the top. Grab the next piece and go in on an angle that way. And then a bit more glue in the middle for the next piece. And that's going to go along the other side. Just going to hold that down and it'll sort of look like that and then you'll just grab something as a centerpiece uh, you might have a circle or a flower punch just punch a little flower I have these little ones that I've made I've got these in my shop as well they're just really cute and ready to just finish off any project so I'm just going to use any of these. I might just use this one. Actually, I'll use this one. And all you do is just place it in the middle and then you've got yourself a cute little paper style gift bow. I'm just going to hold down for a second and there is your cute little gift bows that you can make with the leftover of the little planner pockets so I hope this was a fun tutorial I've done three tutorials for you in this one video and that was pretty 
pretty uh, quick to make all of these and um, hope you have a go. I hope these are something that you like to make because I do love making pockets of all kinds. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.